Flying with Emilia by Karen Crutcher, Elsa Fritz, and Kelly Hall. Amelia was born on July 24, 1897 at Natchez, Kansas. Amelia had a little sister. Her name was Muriel. Amelia was the oldest sister in the family. Amelia was two years older. To have fun, Amelia played football, fished, read books, and collected bugs. When she was a kid, Amelia's mother made Amelia play suits instead of long dresses because she wanted Amelia to run like a boy. When Amelia was 23 years old, Emily's dad took Amelia to meet Mr. Frank Hawks. Mr. Hawks took Amelia for her first airplane ride. Amelia wanted to fly again. Netta Snook taught Amelia how to fly. Amelia paid herself. She had to do jobs to pay for it. She was a truck driver, a fancy schmancy person who wrote down things that people said, and a person who took pictures. Six months after Amelia learned to fly, Amelia bought a, an airplane. It was a yellow airplane. Amelia named it Canary. Canary is a name of a yellow bird. Amelia became the first girl who flew all the way across the Atlantic Ocean. Amelia did it with no help. A lot of people say Amelia showed them. Amelia flew across the ocean on May 20, 1932. Amelia got a parade to celebrate Amelia's flight. There were a lot of people there. Amelia had dinner with President Hoover. Amelia won the National Geographic Social Teas Special Gold Medal. Amelia was the very, very first girl to win the medal. Amelia also got the flying cross. George Putnam asked Amelia to marry him, but Amelia said no, no, no. But George was able to change Amelia's mind. Amelia married George Putnam in, on February 4, 1931 in Note, Connecticut. On July the 2nd, 1937, Amelia took off to New Guinea in the South Pacific. Amelia flew the airplane. Brand new was the navigator. Amelia's dream was to fly around the world, but she crashed a village. No one was able to find her, even today. People remember Amelia because she was brave, smart, awesome, and a great girl. Amelia was the first girl to try to fly across the world. And that's how people remember her.